All right, let's let me fix that so we can see everybody. All right, how's it going? Let's get big or let's get big around here. All right, so hello, how's it going? Welcome back to the show. This is you made Roscoe. I'm Roscoe. That's Phil right there. He's in the building. What it do, my dude? What's going on, my brother? Roscoe Village. Another day, another video, and what's happening? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Me. Me, Sale, we are here today to do a reaction to um, a comedian, you know, that we're uh, both not familiar with. So this ought to be fun. But his name is Carl Barron, and um, he's uh, performing a comedy bit or, or, or a stand-up bit at Just For Laughs 1. So we'll be checking this out. Before we do that, I do want to ask for anybody who hasn't that they please subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell. Also, make sure that you go over to Carl Barron's homepage and do the same thing because we do want to support the artists. Um, and I do have a shout out to give to George Ibrahim, who suggested that we check this out. So, George, want to say much love to you. Um, of course, one of the uh, greatest supporters of the page. So, um, we definitely salute you for um, doing your due diligence, um, for being, uh, for rocking with us like you do. Uh, we definitely appreciate that big time because we know that you or anybody else who is rocking with us doesn't have to. You know, you can easily like just say to heck with y'all. I don't want nothing to do with y'all, but y'all rocking with us. So, um, we definitely have to show love. So um, much love to you, George, and to everybody. Um, now we can get into the proceedings. Like I said, me and Sal, we do not know what we're walking into. So, um, yeah, this will be raw and fresh for everybody. Well, for us. Anyway. So let's go ahead and get it. Yep. Yep. Now, if people don't know what I'm talking about, Avi. I have to speak really slowly. Otherwise, people don't understand my accent. You know, like I checked in the hotel, you know. G'day, mate. How you going? He goes, I'm sorry, sir. Hello, how are you? <laughs> it's like an expression you got over here. You know, you call uh, flip-flops flip-flops. <laughs> we don't call them that in Australia. We call them thongs. <laughs> you know what you call thongs over here? Women's G-strings. Nobody told me that the first yeah. time I got here. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> the conversation I was having this bloke in the street. He go, man, when she'd been over, you could see a thong. I said, whoopie do. <laughs> what are you looking at a thong for? I said, it was popping out the top of her jeans. I said, what was popping out the top of her jeans? A thong. A thong was popping out the top of her jeans. What's a friggin' thong doing popping out the top of her jeans? <laughs> There's no man, when you look down at jeans, you can see a thong. So she must have loose jeans on. <laughs> I said, by the way, where's the other one? The other what? I said, thong, they always come in twos. He said, what do you know about thongs? I said, I'll wear them. I said, do ya? I said, yeah. He said, when? I said, when I'm feeling hot. This is one of the things I love about the world. It's like uh, you can you can take uh, the the, uh, the names for things and certain expressions and stuff stuff like that that mean one thing here, you know, but mean something totally different elsewhere, you know. Uh, which reminds me of like um, there, there was a this I, there was a reaction that I was doing. But, and I'm I, I'm actually familiar with this term. I, I knew about it, but when I heard it in the video, I thought it was funny. But um, uh, the guy was talking about uh, he was talking about his pants, but he was talking, but he was calling them knickers, you know, because that's <laughs> <laughs> so he was having this conversation, and then he was like, "Man, I have my knickers," you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? What did he say? But um, no, go ahead. If you got something you want to 
on no, that. No, just pretty much you said what I was about to say, man. Our terms for things here in America is like you said, could be so totally something different somewhere else across the globe, man. That <laughs> why the, but then tell me this, Sam. Why why are and no, maybe I should ask my Australian brethren out there. You know what I mean? Like, why are y'all calling flip flops? Flip flops are flip flops. They are not thongs. Why are y'all calling them thongs? That's what I. I'm kind of curious. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do I have you nearby? No, I don't. I got some upstairs. Yeah, yeah I didn't even know why. Make. I don't know, cause maybe because of the. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to guess. Yeah, no. I, okay. I want to know. That that's yeah. I'm curious about that too. Like, why? Why do y'all call? I I guess that you. Yeah, I guess they can say the same thing about why we would call flip flops flip flops. But because uh, they flipping you flop when you walk. Yeah, yeah, it's the sound. It's the sound. Yeah, yeah. Flop, we, flop, we, flop, we can flop, we can justify flop. it. Makes a flop yeah. sound. Make flip flops. You're right. We can't justify it. <laughs> we can't just they did and just please my Australian <laughs> brethren joy somebody tell me oh why <laughs> uh, Aussie brethren we need to know we need to know. Rockville Village that's from the land of down under or who knows that culture a whole lot better than we do and the uh, slang and the terminology and stuff y'all use we 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 need to know. Yeah, uh, I'm really curious. You know, if, if, really if the New Zealanders know, step in New Zealand. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all probably doing the same thing. Y'all probably calling them dogs too, you know? So I don't know. Let's, let's keep it going. When it's cold, I put a sock on first and put the thong over that. What's the big deal? My mum wears them, my dad wears them. See, are we talking about the same thing? I said, I don't think so. <laughs> I had a girlfriend 10 years ago. No, no, I've had other ones in between that. I'm talking about this particular one. Okay. She used to wake me up in the middle of the night and ask me questions, you know, just out of the blue. Three o'clock in the morning. Carl, what? What? She says, tell me the truth. I said, I'll try. <laughs> she said, Do you find me attractive? I said, I can't even see you. <laughs> I drove her mad. She went crazy because of me. I drove her nuts. She started hallucinating at the end. She started coming home late and I going, Carl, I'm seeing someone else. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. You know what I mean? Like, no, you hallucinating. You know what I mean? She can't and you, you walk up talking about I'm seeing somebody else. Like, oh, no, like, like what well, you see somebody right now? <laughs> oh, man. oh my god, that is hilarious. Sell anything you want to throw in before we I just need one question. All my ladies in Roscoe Village, why do y'all love to do that to us fellas, man? Why do y'all wait until late at night or just at some random moment of where you want to ask these silly questions that you know you don't want the answer to? Like I, I, I would never, I would never understand that because it's been a few times myself. I don't got woken up in the middle of the night or early in the morning just to get asked random questions and knowing that I'm not there. I'm still sleeping half awake. So whatever comes out of my mouth, you're going to use and you're not going to like it. Like, I, I would never understand that, ladies. I love y'all, but I would never, <laughs> ever. Yeah, no, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to just uh, plead the fifth on this. One. <laughs> I'm just, I'm seriously asking. I love y'all, but I need to know that, Lord. Need to know. Well, y'all, y'all heard, y'all heard sale, ladies. You know what I mean? So if y'all got some answers, jump in the comment section. You know, we, we we here to entertain any statements, any uh answer any questions, you know. I mean, I'm thinking it's probably because that time frame, especially early in the morning, you're not in your right mind, so you really can't sit there and think of a lie because you still have sleep half awake. So whatever you say is probably truthful in that yeah. moment because you ain't got That's time to really think about it. 
catch you off guard. That's what I'm low key thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I might be on to y'all, ladies, but I'm gonna say, yeah. you, see. No, you, you got to catch him, catch him while he woozy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like when he's still in the in the dream state, you know what I mean? Like I'm just like, huh? What? You know what I mean? <laughs> what, what is the Pythagorean theorem? Like, oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> like man. it is three fifteen in the morning. All right. Why are you asking me that? <laughs> you know, but buddy. I like him. His facial expressions are funny too. I'm noticing that with him as well, man. Yeah, he's he a funny cat, man. No, he is. Even his voice, the, 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 the voice inflections and stuff like that. When you change it up, voices and stuff like that. I, 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 mm-hmm. I like, I like this dude. He's a funny cat. Yeah. I said, "There's no one here, you dickhead." She's Carl. I'm sleeping with someone else. I said, "You're not." It's me. <laughs> you ever wonder where words come from? I thought about that the other day. I thought, where do words come from? At one point in history, there were no words. We all just walking around looking at each other going like that. <laughs> you know, one day someone went, hey, we need some words. Because words are just noises, right? Like, <laughs> that's a noise, but it's not a word. But word is the noise for word. <laughs> yeah, like numbers. And you can use noises too. If you ever, you know, you think noise is, is sounds stupid. You know when people talk a lot and they won't shut up? And you just want them to go? And they won't? You just make a noise and that just gets rid of them. They go, oh really? I go, mm-hmm. It's like... Numbers, one, two, three, where, one, where do we get one from? One, why is it one? Why wasn't it, whoa? <laughs> it- and, and, and this will be the last time we stop it. I just wanted to stop it just because we had to this one last time. But oh anything God. you want to throw out there before we finish out? I am not about to go down this, this, this rabbit hole with him. These are like conversations I have to myself. Every now and then, either when I'm high or just randomly thinking of stuff back in the past and how things came to be to where they are today. I, 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 I thought about the things with words too, like how the hell, like how. I swear <laughs> to you, tell. I was gonna say, like these are these are high conversations. <laughs> these are these are things you think about when you are just straight stone. Like where do words come from? Who was who, who invented words? And numbers, like, wh- why would they say one? Like, dude, that's the yeah. You only thinking of that. Right. But yeah, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. That's for a whole. <laughs> nope. But I've definitely thought about it. Yeah. No, I, you know, um, I thought of similar types. I don't know if I thought about that, but it, but it is good good stuff now when you hear it. Like, I mean, like, it's true though. You got to think. We started off with just like he said, just. <laughs> How do we go to finding out? Oh, uh, one. Right, right. We, we turn, we turn I need and to, moans right. into, into exactly. a rhythm. We make, we, you know, that's that's what's up. Got to love people for that. Greatest one of the one of the greater inventions of man. Evolution. <laughs> it's like. Numbers one, two, three. Where one? Where do we get one from? One. Why is it one? Why wasn't it? Whoa! <laughs> it could have been <laughs> two. Could have been <laughs> three. Could have been <laughs> would have made that Jackson song a bit different. A B C. It's easy as. You know, instead of saying a thousand, you could have said. Now <laughs> we wave with our arms. Looks stupid after a while. Could have been with our legs. Get him out of here, all right? <laughs> instead of saying see you, you might have went. <laughs> but instead of good thanks, you went. Hmm. <laughs> would have been fun walking in the shops these days. Get him out of here, go and give us <laughs> coffee. Uh, pies, thank you. Uh, how many kids you got? I've got whatever you've got. Johnny, I've told you. 
I told you <laughs> times. Stop playing around, I'll tell your mother. How is your wife, mate? She's pretty... <laughs> Oh, shit, it's half past. I better go. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Good night. Thank you. Okay. All right, Carl Barron. Um, and who recommended this? George? Yeah, yeah. My Good man, old. George. I appreciate you, my brother. Yeah. This, I'm about to dig into him now. Yeah. No, this is good stuff. This is good <laughs> stuff right here. Oh. Uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, was Carl Barron with At Just for Laughs 1. And this, uh, for, first of all, let's get uh, sales thoughts and how he felt about this. Like I said, first time even hearing about this guy. First time he actually seeing him in his stand-up. Apparently, he must do pretty well and is pretty famous down there. I'm not going to say just Australia, maybe on the other side of the globe, because I never heard of him before. He's right. probably probably famous here, too, to most folks. I never heard of him. Right. But looking at that audience, he definitely he must definitely be on his shit, because he's funny. Yeah. He, he's, he's funny. I love his humor. I love his humor. Um, So like I said, I appreciate you, George. I'm definitely going to dig into him more now, because I'm definitely curious, because this whole little five... Five minute skit definitely had me rolling. So that's just a smidge of it. Um, I need to really see if I can catch, see if he's got any the long stand ups that run through and check them out. But now he's funny, man. He thinking some of the some some of the same stuff I be thinking. So he's funny. I like it. Cool. He's cool. Cool. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm with you on this song. He he definitely like brings a, a lot of different elements uh, from the comedic side, you know, um, a little slapstick humor, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, and a little intellect. He, he makes you think a little bit. Uh, you know, he's doing like the the, the body humor, and you know, he's he's throwing in sound sound effects. He, he's he's all over the place with it, but um, in a very great way. In a well. I don't want to say just throw the word great around like that, but he did do a great job with this. You know, this was um a, a very good, a very good stand-up piece. Um he was funny, very thoughtful. Um yeah, no, there, there, there's nothing to hate about this. No, nah, he keeps yeah. the audience engaged. He knows how to interact with the audience as well. And that's a big thing with stand-up, man. You gotta keep your audience engaged, because if not, you could probably in your mind have like the perfect set in your mind but if you don't if things don't engage with that audience that shit can go left real quick yeah. and not for the good yeah so he definitely yeah. has that pack so like you said his whole stage presence man he yeah. got it he got it i'm definitely gonna check him out more all right all right um you get a I'm thumbs gonna, up mm -hmm. all right <clears throat> I'm gonna throw my hands up and me and Sal, we 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 rock it with this, George. You, you, that, but George, he that, that George keeps it solid that, as far as like his objectives, um, mm -hmm. more than so, you know, because uh -huh. like, basically all of them are like winners, you know. So um that's 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 another, you know, uh feather in the cap for George, you know. Okay. Is that but um but yeah, no, great stuff. Me and me and Sale, we showed our thumbs. Uh, we're gonna leave, but before we do, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the playlist option. You'll pick the one named comedy reactions, and um, of course, you'll see this and anything else that we that we have reacted to that's comedy related. Um, we also have a lot of other playlists that um, a lot of a lot of the times they're gonna be like music related, but we do other things that you can see, you know, so uh, check all of the playlists out. You know, if you don't wanna miss nothing, if you wanna be entertained by the goats of the, the, over here, you know, at, at the, 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 the greatest worst show ever. <laughs> you wanna, if you want that, you know what I mean? Come over here to them, to death row. Come to death Come on over the roster. <laughs> you know, but um, but yeah, no, check out those playlists. Cash app dollar sign you made Roscoe. PayPal at you made Roscoe. 
Super thanks option is available. That's for those who like to show their support or appreciation for what's being done on the page. Any donations will be made to any one of those spots. That's all I got pretty much on um, sale. Anything you want to have before we um, make Rusko <clears throat> Rusko Village, y'all already know my stilo. I'm going to start calling y'all Rusko Village International because that's pretty much what we are. We, we 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 all across this 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 beautiful planet of ours. Yes. But, uh, <clears throat> George, my man, if you happen to comment on this video, can you do me a favor? Can you give me some personal um suggestions as far as his stand up that I should check out, or just do a complete dive myself into his catalog? Um, because <clears throat> I am really serious about really checking him out. I just don't know exactly where to go in a sense um so if you could do that for me i would greatly appreciate that or if anybody else that's from that neck of the woods around that way that has you know that knows about this man right here and knows some things you know drop it in the comments i'm definitely i definitely really want to check this man out and outside of that i love y'all and i will catch y'all on the flip side all right cool beans cool beans so me sale Carl, Franklin saying, we gots to go. We gots to go. You know, especially Franklin. Like, Franklin got to get his shit together. You know, he so, did. you he, know, Jack, well, we, 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 we tried with this brother, you know, for six seasons. And, you know, not just me and Sayo, but a whole community was behind. <laughs> you know, cheering him on. You know, and, you know, he, he let the community down. Life got him. <laughs> let the community down you know but uh yeah no me tell uh we out of here we will see you again soon so until next we meet my pretties be safe in these youtube streets and be good one day i will find this button quick <laughs> <laughs>